Hello, and welcome to this edition of Mornings. It's Friday, February 21st, and a D-Day here at North Penn. I'm Sophie Collins. And I'm Gabby Mosley. It's been a busy two weeks for North Penn, and we have a lot to catch up on, so let's get right into this edition of Mornings. The NAACP pinned the first cultural proficiency ambassadors with students from Norristown, Upper Dublin, Sheltonham, and of course, North Penn. We will be collaborating to establish cultural awareness and inclusion throughout their high school student body. Congratulations to the first inductees. Throughout the month of February, the African American Advocacy Club will be pre presenting personal perspectives on issues our community faces. This, this week's topic is colorism in America. So, it's just at this camera. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Colorism is discrimination within one race based upon your skin complexion. Colorism is the mistreatment of people based on your skin tone. I can't actually recall a time that I've been undermined by my beauty based on my skin tone. What are you mixed with? What are you? Like, why can't I just be black and beautiful? What does your hair look like under there? Like, oh, you must be dirty because you have that hijab on. I think that the African-American community has separated very greatly. And to other races, it looks like, oh, well, since they're doing it, I can do it too, which is not okay. Slavery created a rivalry between dark skins and light skins. Now we have a lot of, so much animosity towards each other. Educating people who decide to discriminate against um, another group. If we don't like it done to us, we shouldn't do it to each other. Beauty comes from within. There's no reason why we should search on the surface for anything that comes from within. If you have more melanin than the girl sitting next to you, embrace your beauty and embra embrace the beauty of everyone around you. NPHS Engineering Academy seniors presented hands-on demonstrations of the materials science principles of their research to thousands of visitors in the Boston Research Center at Drexel University. The students' research endeavors made possible by generous grant funding from North Penn Educational Foundation encompass topics ranging from synthetic photosynthesis, carbon capture, advanced wound dressings, thermoelectric energy efficiency, and piezoelectric engineering engineering and energy harvesting, and the engineering department continues to garner their accolades. We are proud to announce that North Penn High School teacher Kurt Reichwine has was selected by the Philadelphia Engineering Foundation as the 2020 Outstanding Engineering Teacher for all of his hard work and dedication in North Penn's engineering programs. Nice work, Mr. Reichwine. North Penn's auditorium was filled this past week as dozens of schools gathered to share their talents at the annual choir invitational. This performance showcased the wide variety of choirs surrounding Montgomery County, including North Penn's very own choir. The mock trial team won the first two rounds of their county level competition and will be moving on to quarterfinals next week. Congrats to Sophia Fabry and Sophia Yi for winning the Best Attorney Award, while Tania Spencer and Martin Yi won the Best Witness Award. Congratulations and good luck in the next round. Hey seniors, it's almost voting time and your vote counts. We have some friends here to tell you why and fill you in with some voter registration information. Junior Jojo Dalwadi and Senior Divya Sood have more. Good morning, North Penn. I'm Jojo Dalwadi, back again for a, nope, not a night choir update, but with information regarding the voter registration drive. The Democrat and Republican clubs are co-hosting a voter registration drive this upcoming Thursday during nighttime for all seniors. If you will be 18 before April 28th and you plan on voting, as you should because 2020 is a huge election year, make sure you know your home address and have your ID number, which is either a valid driver's license or your social security number for this upcoming Thursday. Think of voting as picking out a pair of shoes. Imagine being stuck in the wrong pair of shoes for years. Not voting is like letting someone else pick your shoes for you. You never know what you could get. Thankfully, we can choose who is elected and who makes important decisions on our behalf. 
So to recap, voter registration on February 27th during Thursday night time for all seniors. You don't want to miss out. Mr. Brumbaugh is back to test your knowledge on this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumbaugh Challenge. And it's a special treat this week. We have, as a prize, some free Girl Scout cookies. And one of North Penn's favorite Girl Scouts is here to ask a question. Remember that the first person to answer correctly gets to come to D11 for some Thin Mints. Are you ready? Here goes. Take it away, Amanda. In 1939, what was the first rendition of the Thin Mint called? The answer when we get back. Nineteen teams will represent North Penn at the Southeast PA Odyssey of the Mind Regional Tournament next Saturday, February 29th at Penn Ridge High School. Participants across the district are wearing their Odyssey of the Mind t-shirts to celebrate the upcoming tournament. When you see the North Penn Omers, be sure to wish them good luck at the regional tournament. Music filled the halls last Thursday as members of the men's and women's choir took to the classrooms to deliver singing valentines. Each valentine came with a special message from the person's valentine. Proceeds were raised for future choral activities. We have Keenan Washington here in the studio to give you this week's lowdown. How are you doing this morning, Keenan? Thanks, Sophie and Gabby. I'm doing great this Friday morning and hope you guys are too. Now, let's jump straight into this week's Lowdown. Save the date for April 24th and 25th for North Penn's Minithon. Registration is running in all lunches for the next two weeks, so cash in your $30 for a great night for a great cause. Follow the event on the gram on your screen now to stay in the know for more info. Hold your horses because the Night Rider Horse Ex Expo forms are due today. Hop on the bus to, to the farm show for a day of shopping, shows, and clinics next Saturday at 8 a.m. Drop off your forms in room C15 and bring your $15 for tickets today. Class of 2020 Spirit Wear is on sale next Friday, so don't delay to order your hoodie, blanket, or tee on the site on your screen now with the password Nights2020. Talent show signups are also running next week from the 24th to the 28th. Sign up outside of F26 to choose an audition show time in the, next, in the first week of March. See Mr. Berger for more information. And finally, the ICC Volleyball Tournament is set to kick off next Thursday, the 27th, at 6 p.m. <clears throat> there are only five spots left. It's only $25 per team, and the winners pick the charity to, <laughs> to donate the proceeds. That will wrap up this week's Lowdown. I'm Keenan Washington, sending it back to the desk. Thanks, Keenan. As we're slowly getting away from the 20 degree weather, we've all been dreaming of a vacation. So Gabby, what's yours? I would love to be in Hawaii for a week with no homework. Oh, the dream. <laughs> this week, we wanted to know what your dream destination is. Chicago. Turks and Caicos. Love Island. Tahiti. Bermuda. Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Bill O'Brien's house. Greece. Barbados. Spain. Paris. The Lagos, Nigeria, because that's where my mom's from. Maldives. Wakanda. Any place in Hawaii. Mr. Monero's office. Disney World, 35 days till the senior trip. We have Aaron Jessberger here in the studio to give us all the sports news. How are you today, Aaron? I'm doing great this morning. Thanks, Gabby and Sophie. Uh, we have a lot to cover as winter sports hit the home stretch, so let's get into it. Basketball had a busy past two weeks as girls basketball has qualified for the state tournament with their 45-35 win over Granite Valley. They're still in the running for, dis for a district title, though, as they play tomorrow against CB West in the district quarterfinals. The boys basketball lost their playoff game against Penn Ridge 55-41. Although they lost, they still have the opportunity to make it to states if they win their next two games, beginning with a win or go home trip to Council Rock South tonight. On the ice last night, the Knights battled back from a from an early two to nothing uh, <laughs> a two to nothing loss tie to CB South. However, the Titans got the game winner in overtime. The Knights wrap up the season at 13 and three, heading into the Flyers Cup tournament at, and are set for a date with Pensbury Monday night at Hatfield Ice. Our unified bocce team is 2-0-1 in their season so far. 
They've won the past two matches and will be hosting the Bucks Montgomery Regionals next Tuesday. That's all for sports. I'm Aaron Jesperger saying it back to the desk. We have Mr. Monero here with members of Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS to discuss upcoming events. How are you guys this morning? Uh, Sophie, get happy we are doing great this morning. we got a big event coming up tonight, don't we? Yes. yes, yes we do. All right, so Elijah and Dylan are here to talk about Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Night of the Arts, Gala at Night of the Arts, right? Is that what it's called? Did yeah. I get mm -hmm. that right? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. sweet. All right, tell us about it. Um, I have, like, these guys I know, uh, Cole Egner and Colin Orndorff, have no plans tonight, as okay. usual, on a Friday night. And they're looking for something to do. So tell us about what's happening here tonight. Okay, right. so Broadway Cares, um, which its longer name is BCEFA, which stands for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS, is mm -hmm. a large gala that we put on um, that... Um, <clears throat> Uh, a bunch of students come in and do performances along with the middle schools. They get to uh, showcase a bit of their shows and also uh, North Penn, the high school, gets to share some of that. And this and tradition goes way back, right? Yeah. To Ryan all, Williams? Yeah, all the way in 1999. And this is all for fundraising for AIDS. Okay, so good. Mm -hmm. And so people come in, it's free, right? But there's a donation, is that? Have yeah, so um, what's recommended is a small $5 donation. Um, As you enter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's nothing, uh, there's no like admission fee or anything. Okay, and you have, um, there's an auction, right? There's a, a yes. silent auction? There will be a flea market in the lobby, and so there will be different items. I know we have a signed Hamilton poster. Okay. Tonight. Among other posters yes. and playbills from Broadway um, that are very yes. well known. All right, great. Flea market, mm -hmm. auction. Um, you guys have performances on the stage. You have mm -hmm. performances out in the lobby. We yes. have previews of the middle school shows and Shrek, right? Mm -hmm. Why don't you yes. tell us a little about Shrek? That's coming up okay. soon. Yeah, well, um, I am one of the, <laughs> I'm a part of the uh, ensemble of Shrek. I was cast as one of the three pigs. Um, I heard this is the second time you've been cast as one of the three yes, pigs. Yes, I was also cast yeah. in middle school. You're being typecast. It could be a career for you. I am. I'm looking okay. forward to it. <laughs> All right, good. Anything else about BCEFA? Uh, it starts at 7 o'clock in the lobby, and there will be coffeehouse performances, but the main stage um, performances start at 7.30. Okay, is the Diane West tap dancing performance happening uh, in the coffee house or on the main stage? Main stage. Main, okay. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I actually heard that she was on American Idol for that one time. So that's mm -hmm. good. Mm, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. great event tonight. Enjoy it, have fun. You guys have a very busy time coming up as soon as this is over between now and May, right? Mm -hmm. All right, have fun. Good luck. BCFA tonight in the auditorium, 7 o'clock here at North Penn High School. Have a great weekend, North Penn. Send it back to the desk. Thanks, Mr. Monero. We have a new feature to announce this week. Nominate a North Penn High School staff member, secretary, teacher, custodian, food service, or secretary. Everyone is eligible to be nominated by a student. A link to the nomination form has been sent to all students. Check your mail. Next Friday, we will announce our rolling recognition live, and we will roll this chair to winner's room. Get your nominations in today, and look out for the rolling recognition chair. It could be in your room next Friday. Did you tweet your answer to at NPTV using the hashtag Brumbaugh? Let's check back in with Mr. Brumbaugh himself for this week's answer. Welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. In 1939, the first iteration of the Thin Mint Cookie was the Cookie Mint. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. The winner of the Brumball Challenge is Rachel Allmark. Make sure to also get your free Thin Mints in D11. Before we say goodbye, 11 North Penn students have been selected as National Merit Scholarship finalists. Congratulations to the students pictured on your screen. That's all we have for this edition of Mornings. I'm Sophie Collins. And I'm Gabby Mosley.